Dr. Zakia, another question of great importance regarding the fast in Ramadan. Unfortunately, there are many brothers and sisters who neglect the obligation of fasting during the month of Ramadan. Can you give us some words of advice and indeed from the Quran and the Sunnah, give us some proofs of the fact that it is an obligation upon the Muslim to fast in Ramadan? There are many words in the Quran as well as many say hadith which very well clarify that it is fard for the Muslims who are supposed to fast, that they should fast, it's a fard. We shall deal with the details for whom it is a fard, inshallah, tomorrow. If you read the Quran, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 183, Ya amanu, O you who believe, Qutiba alaykum is sayam, Kama qutiba ala lazina min kablikum, Lallakum tatakun, which means, O oh, you who believe, fasting has been prescribed to you as it was prescribed to people who came before you so that you may learn self-restraint. You heard the Arabic word used is qutiba. Qutiba means prescribed. It is written. Amongst the other things which are compulsory, it has been prescribed. It has been made compulsory for you, also fasting. As it was made compulsory for people who came before you. That means it was compulsory even for people that came before. The Jews, the Christians, etc. But it's also made compulsory for the Muslims. Ya you are amunu, for the believers. And further it says, point number one, it's compulsory for you. Point number two, it's compulsory for people who came before you. Point number three, lalakum tattakun, so that you may learn self-restraint. The Arabic word tattakun is derived from the word waqa, same as the root word for taqwa which means that you have to fear yourself, you know, from the wrath of Allah. In short, the meaning of the word taqwa, it is uh, somewhat like God consciousness, piety, it means righteousness. So here Allah is telling, fasting has been prescribed to you so that you may learn self-restraint, so that you learn taqwa, you increase yourself in taqwa, in God consciousness, in righteousness, in piety. And when a person fasts, what happens? That he feels hungry. And normally when a person is well-fed, that gives him more energy to many a times do things which are also prohibited and to commit sins. The moment you fast, your action towards things which are prohibited goes down and the barometer of taqwa goes high. That is the reason fasting helps you to improve your self-restraint and increase your taqwa level. Furthermore, it's mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2. Verse number 185, Allah says, Shahru Ramzan al lazi unzila fi hil Quran, hudal nas. That Ramzan was the month in which the Quran was revealed as a guidance to humankind. Wa bayyinatim min al huda wal furqan. And in it are signs for guidance and judgment between right and wrong. Immediately after that, Allah says, the people who witness this month, they should fast. They again become the fard. For the Muslims, that if you are in this month of Ramadan, you should fast. And it gives exceptions that if you are ill or if you are traveling, then the period can be made later on, etc., etc. But here this verse says, it is compulsory for every Muslim to fast in the month of Ramadan. And the exceptions are there. Furthermore, there are several say hadith which make it compulsory for the Muslim to fast. I'll just quote one which is the most important one. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad he said, it's mentioned in Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Iman, hadith number eight. Our beloved Prophet said that Islam is based on five pillars. The first is, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. There is no God but Allah, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the messenger of Allah. The second is establishing prayers. Akim Salah. The third is giving zakat. That's obligatory charity. The fourth is performing Hajj. That's the pilgrimage to the holy city of Makkah. And the fifth is observing Psalm. That is fasting. So from this hadith of Muhammad of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number one, in the book of Iman, hadith number eight, it says that fasting is one of the pillars of Islam. 
Not only is it fard, it is one of the principles, one of the pillars of Islam. Amongst the five most important things for a Muslim, one of them is fasting. So from these evidences we come to know that fasting is fard for every Muslim. Well, I don't think it can be put in much of a clearer way, to be honest. And I think that people should take advice and fast this Ramadan. Inshallah.